So Octopath Traveler 2 has four secret jobs to further enhance the way you play with each traveler. These four jobs are Inventor, Arms Master, Conjurer, and Arcanist, and each offer unique ways to customize the characters and how you play the game. The first one we're going to talk about is the Inventor job. To unlock this, you'll need to find the Inventor's Guild located in a northeast part of eastern New Delta High Road. This can be unlocked very early in a game, however, rather than using job points to unlock skills, you'll need to find specific key items in order to use and unlock these skills. Second, we have the Arms Master job located in the Blacksmith's Home in the level 45 area Gravel. There will be a man blocking this door, so you'll need to use a path action like Challenge or Ambush to knock him out to enter the building. Same as the Inventor, you'll need to bring specific items to the Blacksmith to unlock the skills you need. The items he needs are specific rusty weapons that he will turn into much better weapons you'll need to equip as an Arms Master to use the related skills for each weapon. Third is the Arcanist job, but you'll need access to the boat which requires Particio and $100,000. I'll link my guide to getting money easily in the description below. Once you have the necessary funds, head to the beasting village called Trapu Hapu. Go all the way to the right with Partitio in your party and you'll get a side quest to buy a ship. Buy said ship and then head to the easternmost island named the Lost Isle. To get here, there will be a boss fight, so be prepared for that. He can be pretty rough. Once that's done, head to the ladder and change the time to nighttime. There will be a blue twinkling path going to the left to meet the Arcanist who will give you the license for the Arcanist job. Did you know that the Arms Master is the only job that doesn't have a divine skill? If you found this video helpful, make sure to support by liking the video and subscribing to the channel if you're new here. And finally, there's the Conjurer job. To unlock this job, you'll need to complete Hikari's story. After completing his story, head to the five-tiered tower in Ku. There will be five bosses you'll need to fight, with the final fight being the Conjurer herself. It's worth noting that you do not have to fight these bosses back to back. You can save and then come back later if needed. Once you take out all the bosses and the Conjurer, she will give you the license for the job and vanish. Since there's no guild for the job, there won't be a marker for it on a map, so just keep in mind that it's here in the tower located in Ku. So that's where every secret job is located in Octopath Traveler 2. What's your favorite job combination so far? Let me know down below and check out this video detailing how you can get some really powerful weapons early in the game.